Sea Fury. 2,000 horsepower there, radial Centaurus. And it had all the, the things a pilot looks for. Now, I would call these pilots elephants. Now, what do I mean by pilots elephants? Well, the pilot should be able to bond with his airplane, feel that he's part of it. And the one thing you look for is harmony of control. Now, that varies, of course, with the requirement, whether it's a fighter or a four-engine bomber. But to take the fighter, which we're looking at now, the wonderful sea fury. <coughs> what I mean by harmony of control is that you are looking for very light air level of lateral control and moderately light elevators and moderately heavy rudder. There, then, you have the perfect fighting combination. Of course, that will vary if you have a four-engine bobber. But if you get harmony of control, it is a wonderful thing. You've got a good air drill in your hands. The cockpit, of course, is where the pilot operates, and you must give a lot of thought to this. There have been some terrible cockpits, not just the layout of the instruments, etc., but the comfort, the feeling that this is really an airplane you want to fly. The sort of airplane you get, get into and you feel that right away. I always felt that way with the Lancaster bomber. This is an airplane that just somehow is asking to be flown. In modern context, perhaps the F-15 is the one we think of today as a real pilot cell. And, of course, the harmony of control has <coughs> changed because in my day they were mainly aerodynamically balanced controls. Sometimes a very tricky thing to achieve, finesse under these circumstances. But towards the end of the war, there came powered controls, which are now, of course, prevalent everywhere. And you tend to lose the feel to the pilot with powered controls. So somehow you must try to give him back some feedback so that he has a feel for the control, particularly in the matter of instrument flying. <coughs> 